Another day, and Pokemon has found another another way to take your money. <laughs> Welcome everyone to this video. Um, this is recorded apparently. I only just really found out within the last hour or so on Pokemon Day. Now, I'm assuming that's something to do with like the, the the birthday of Pokemon. In fact, we could probably just give it a a quick search here. I'll probably Google will probably be easier if this uh, Pokemon Day. Uh, happy Pokemon Day from Nintendo. There we go. Yep, so Happy Pokemon Day. Da, 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 da. Fine. Um, yeah. So it's probably just celebrating the the. Oh yeah, twenty seven years ago, February twenty twenty seven. Wow. So it was actually two years ago that we got celebrations. That's crazy. I thought it was. A, mm. yeah, it must be. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, because last year we got the Pokemon Go set, didn't we? Uh, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. So Happy Pokemon Day. Uh, I'm gonna get this uploaded in the UK Greenwich Mean Time before the 28th of February, so that that's still a relevant thing to say. I haven't posted anything for a minute, and um, the reason for that, actually, I've been a little bit ill. My throat's been super croaky, so how can I record videos where I'm talking if I'm... <laughs> the whole time. Uh, I have some water to keep me... keep my whistle wet. I hope you heard the the gargle there quite well. Um, but yeah, we've got some Pokemon news. Now, I was super, super excited about this. So on our Team Exeter Discord, in fact, before I go further, I'm just going to say a big congratulations to the Team Exeter um, team that played in Team Challenge, myself not included. Um, I didn't make the cut on that, unfortunately. For me, But they made uh, top 64 in the Team Challenge. So that is amazing. Four unranked players I believe of the four players, there's only one that's ever actually, oh, maybe two that's ever been, no, there's two that's pl uh, competed in actual sanctioned tournaments outside of locals. And of those, um, I mean, I don't think they've competed in one for probably at least like seven years, I guess on top of my head, probably about that. So that's massive. You've got four unranked players coming top 64 in the team challenge internationally. Uh, one of only three British teams to come that far. So congratulations to those people. Um, we won't bother naming them now. Just I don't know if they want to be named or not, so I'm just not going to run that risk. Um, yeah, so congratulations to them. And um, let's now move on to what the news was. It's called burying the lead, as they say in journalism. Not that I'm a trained journalist. Get back to basics with Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. So this is, um, I mean, this is on Total Cards. This is where the, the link was. I've bought stuff on Total Cards before. I'm not shilling for Total Cards. If you buy stuff from there, great. If you don't, whatever. It, it makes no difference to me. I'm not paid by them or anything. Um, but this picture is really cool. It's a good picture, so it's good to lead with. Pokemon TCG Classic Announcement. And you can see here we've got the three original base sets, Starter, Stage 2s, the Venusaur Blastoise, and Charizard, respectively, and some funky-looking coins and other other... Uh, Tom Foolery going on here, and down here we've got the 2023 Pokemon Day logo. I very much like this logo. It's cool. It seems to be almost like an a progression of the 25 year logo that we saw, well, two years ago. Funny enough, as it happens. Uh, check out the latest details on our blog. Okay, well, I'm assuming this is the Total Cars blog. Yeah, it is totalcars.net/blog. Pokemon Day has some truly exciting announcements lined up. Some we were expecting, and some that surprised us. But the one reveal standing out from the crowd is Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. This sleek upgrade from the TCG we all know and love is truly stunning with interesting upgrades and what looks to be some pretty powerful decks. We cannot wait for this to hit the shelves later this year. Check out the details surrounding the content of this announcement below. I will. Thank you very much. Box content. So contained in this stylish black box, you will find three unique decks. Blastoise and Suicune EX. Charizard and Ho-Oh EX, and Venusaur and Lugia EX. Oh, they couldn't find a grass EX to put with Venusaur, that's kind of sad. <laughs> um, are they all, okay, they're all legendaries. Well, you couldn't just put Celebi in there? You had to <laughs> you had to go Lugia? You couldn't just create a Celebi for this? That's a bit sad. Okay. Um, whatever legendary grass are there, Virizion? Um, I'm sure there's more, but it sort of escapes me right now. You'll also find a playmat integrated into the case. Oh, integrated into the case, okay. Three flip deck boxes, which I'm not really sure what that means, but three deck sleeve sets, 64 sleeves containing each. Amazing 3D condition markers for burned and poison, which, um, if in case you're wondering, that's what these was. That's the burn and that's the poison. They are pretty cool, actually. I have to confess that I do like that. Um, two silver ball bearings. 
I'm not really sure what the relevance is of the ball bearings yet, but I'm sure we'll, we'll get there. Um, and stackable damage counters. So that's the stackable damage counters. This is a really good idea um, for when you're playing with friends. It's a very, very bad idea for streams because they tend to run uh, the top down for tournaments. So if people were thinking of taking those to tournament, I would say, well, I'd say if you're a judge, don't allow them at the top table because it just becomes completely useless for people trying to watch. Um, yeah, anyway. Hmm, let's see. So we've got three unique... Oh, okay, what did I... Oh, there. This product just screams premium. Three unique 60-card decks, one playmat integrated case, three flip deck boxes, three sets of decks, three 3D stackable damage counters, 3D condition markers, two silver ball barons. So we've been through that. And so when I, when I first read this and looked at it, I thought, oh, okay, so there's like a Venusaur, but they don't have the Venusaur yet, so they've put this one in its place for some reason. But no, this is wrong. This is the Venusaur, and I've checked. I'm I haven't checked, checked, oh, I didn't know I did that. I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure off the top of my head that 100 HP and doing 4 energy 60 damage is exactly what the original one did, like, number for number. So, you know, when we had the, uh, what was that, that set that, like, um, it was it Evolution, I think, that had original style cards, but with newer, more updated numbers to make them fit in. This does not have that, right? Because then, because Venusaur being a stage 2 with 100 HP, would be absolute dog water, right? You would expect a stage two a Venusaur to have maybe 160 or 170 HP in the modern format, but no, it has 100 HP, which means that even though it's a stage two, a lost zone, a lost Sableye could hit it with lost. Um, I can't remember what the bloody attack's called now, but you could put 10 damage counters on it straight away, and you still have two two damage counters to change and knock it out, which kind of sucks. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is the Venusaur. While I've been talking, you've had a time to read it. It, um, it's often like, okay, so this, so the idea is that the Venusaur's a power. Pokemon power is that you can move energy around at will, basically. Um, and you'll also notice what you will notice here is if you look at the energy type mentioned within the Pokemon power, it has the circle. Um, so it's actually the same as it is on the energy expenditure. Um, on the attack, so I'm probably not making much sense. So if I just quickly utilize the brave very quickly. So if I say, um, if I go say Chris, um, Crystal Guardians, uh, is that is Arcanine X Crystal Guardian? Uh, there it is. Oh, it's Legend Maker. So you can see. You cannot see it very well. You can see here it's pretty blurry, but you can see that, that that has a fire energy cost. Now, this is not how it's done on the Japanese cards, and they actually changed it. Uh, I believe diamond and pearl, empoleon. Level X. Let me try that. I think I'm sort of running off. This is not what I plan to talk about. Um, oh, he doesn't even talk. He doesn't even have it in his attack cost. Okay, so Diamond and Pearl. Maybe Infernape level X. That would probably work. I'm, Infernape. I'm pretty sure Infernape used energy costs in its attack names. Let's have a look here. Yeah, so that's fine. So let's get a bigger picture. That's a bigger picture. Right, let's view that. Brilliant. Okay, maybe not. Let's go back. That's... Come on, man. It's big, isn't it? There we go. So you can see here that it it's like a textile one. You see that? Eight fire. Um, they changed it, and I believe that's how the Japanese cards are. So they assimilated that many, many, many years ago when Diamond Apparel came out. But you can see here... Which one is it, I guess? So you can see that they've, they've stuck with the English style and also the yellow border as well for the English text one. I've only just noticed that, and I just sort of ad-libbed that extra on top. Um, but yeah, 4 energy 60 also sucks, obviously. Uh, this is the, here is the Lugia EX that comes in this set. Two, uh, two colorless energy, ascending wing, 30 damage. Touch your deck for one basic energy card and attach it to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. So that's kind of useful. That's pretty good, I reckon, if you could put a, say, double colorless energy, because we're talking old cards, onto this Lugia EX. You could be talking about a turn to 200 damage from Aero Break, which is four colorless energy, 200 damage. This Pokemon does 30 to itself. So yeah, um, once again, four energy, 200. You're looking at this, like, double knocking out. You can knock out two Venusaurs in one go if you so choose. Chose. 
Here is a basic chance, you know, this is the Japanese looking one. Um, all the English um, images haven't come out yet for this because it's very early days. Scrunch, yeah, 400 GAE, whatever. Uh, we've, got an, we've got an OG Oak, OG Professor's Oak. Now, they have added that this is a support card, which I believe was the same. Did they do that in the Legends? Maybe they did that for like Bills or something. I, don't know, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, so that's that. Now, here is a card here, Sun C. This is interesting. So it's a Pokemon Tool card. It, 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 when attached to Venusaur, this attack does 100 more, uh, the Venusaur's attacks do 100 more damage. So I could see this being quite useful um, in general for other Venusaurs or Blastoise. Um, yeah, spoiler, so the, there's the same tool in all three decks, one for Venusaur, one for Blastoise, one for Charizard, and they all make the Pokemon do 100 more damage. Um, I could see that being quite useful if you were playing, I mean, potentially in GLC, if there's a, a Venus, there is a Venusaur that you can play in GLC, a very good one, it could be, it may be worth having it, just to make Venusaur hit that little bit harder, maybe not, maybe not in GLC, because you've only got one Venusaur, but that's just an example. Um, oh, here, here was my question though, and obviously we don't have the full text yet, but would that work on a Venusaur VMAX, because I, I don't know what, do you know what, let's just look, I was thinking about this earlier, and I was like, oh, I wonder if it would work on Venusaur VMAX, is Venusaur VMAX um, rotating? It's Venusaur, isn't it? Let's have a look. Venusaur VMAX. Let's have a look at him. Uh, that is not... <laughs> uh, it looks like F to me, but these pictures are not very good. God damn it. Let's have a look. It's going... Oh, that's a big one. Right, okay. That's... That'll do. That'll do me. That'll do me. Let's view that. Oh, it's an E. So... E block, so yeah, Venusaur VMAX is actually still legal. So I wonder if you could attach this to Venusaur VMAX and get an extra 100 damage. So you'd be hitting 130 at uh, 30 times plus 100 essentially, or you could hit four energy 310. I don't know, maybe we'll see. Uh, anyway, yeah, so there's that. We've got the base set Charizard, of course. Uh, most of us are going to know that more or less off by heart now uh, what this Pokemon is, what it does. And it's teamed up with ho ex So ho ex one fire energy. Attached up to, uh, to two basic energy from Disco Pile to your Pokemon any way you like. So very similar to what the uh, Lugia does, but different. Four energy, 180. This Pokemon can't attack during your opponent's next, uh, during your next turn. Not much point in saying your opponent's next turn. Uh, this is a Pikachu. Base, I believe it's base set Pikachu. You know, we've seen probably the best version of this in the uh, Celebration set, funny enough. The, the sort of full art style is really cool, isn't it? We got the one NG, a Gnaw. Gnaw. Um, 10 damage. Thunder Jolt, 30. Uh, was that retreat cost of one? Yeah, okay, fine. Don't really matter. And here is Scorching Charcoal. So this would be giving Charizard 100 more damage. Here's a big one Computer Search. Computer Search was an absolutely busted card. It Got reprinted as an ace spec. So what an ace spec was, if you weren't aware, was the it was like a, like a, like a one of. So sort of like what they did with Star Pokemon and Radiant Pokemon. Um, as well, and also what was those other ones, Prism as well. Um, but yeah, there was there was quite a few. There was a, there were a few ace spec cards, and Computer Search was one of them. Uh, discard two cards from your hand and search your deck for any card you want and put it in your hand. So pretty busted. That coming into standard, super busted. That would be super, super busted. Um, I could see it actually working well with the 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 mustard, you know, because mustard you must do yourself down to one card hand. Hmm. Keeping the whistle wet with the T this time. Uh, here it is, base set Blastoise with the iconic Rain Dance, which is same as the. Blastoise that does it deluge, if you can remember that. Um, slightly different to Blastoise CX, which did the exact same, but also put a damage counter on for every time, which is pretty, pretty dog. Uh, great card though. Here is the Suicune EX. So Suicune is if this Pokemon has any water energy attached to it, it's got a free retreat. Um, 60 damage plus 30 more for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. So I could actually see Suicune EX being quite, quite good, possibly as good as Suicune V in its own way. Slightly different style of deck, very similar to what we used to see, what we saw with Keldeo. Um, was it Keldeo EX? Oh, more googling. Yeah, the old Kel I remember Keldeo. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? This damn thing. Yeah, Keldeo EX. So Secret Sword, fifty damage plus twenty more for each Water Engine attached to this Pokemon. It was pretty good um, when it came out. Very, very, very good that card. 
Uh, and then they made it into a promo, and everyone that's the promo version, and then everyone had it, which was good. But it was already tearing people up, and people already spent like twenty, you know, twenty quid a card on it to get them, and then they made it a promo quite late in the day, which is kind of annoying. But oh well, better late than never. Uh, similar, similar sort of style. We've got the Mewtwo here, which I believe is yep. Oh, 130 HP. That seems like higher than what base set Mewtwo had. I'm going to do more Googling, I'm afraid. Was it base? Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, no. There we go. No. Didn't like that. Let's try that again. Base set Mewtwo. No, so base set Mewtwo. Oh, my God. Base set Mewtwo had, a, had 60 HP. Whereas this new one has 130. I wonder what the... Thought process is it a 10 plus? They've actually got it wrong as well. That says 20 plus, whereas they've written 10 plus. It seems like the text on this one is different to base set. That second attack seems kind of busted. No, it is. <laughs> okay, it is the same. Wow, I didn't know that Mewtwo could do that. You would just. You could just. There's a Mewtwo stall. Okay, cool. Mewtwo stall. Interesting. Now, this is probably the most hyped thing. This is actually what did make me originally just like verbal when I saw it. Rocket's Bloody Admin. Such a good card. So good. Both players shuffle their hand into their deck and they draw one for every prize. Oh, wait, that's just N, isn't it? Yeah, it's N. All right, basically, it's N before N for all you young kids out there. Oh. I would personally love to see this come back into the format i think it's a great way of come of uh, i think it's a great comeback card it's better it it's more interesting than roxanne and roxanne can actually be used even if you're winning as well if you've got one prize cards left and your opponent has three well you've already all, all in your which means you're winning you've already fulfilled the requirements for roxanne even though you're winning so this is a pure comeback merchant um great set rockets returned also have the fantastic power hand extension just a lot of good trainers in that set in general. So yeah, we've got Rocket Zam in there in the Blastoise deck, and this is the Ocean Drop, which is the 100 more damage for Blastoise. Uh, here's some images. These are the... Oh yeah, there are. I, I, I did wonder, I was like, there are only two, there's actually three different uh, sleeve colours there. be interested to see if anyone's brave enough to take those into tournaments. Um, I wonder if they're even going to be legal for tournaments. They might go, oh, you can't do that. Um, the deck boxes are pretty sleek as well. Here is the burn and poison marker. Here it is being used. Um, I do really don't like the way they stack energy. I, I would rather the energy stack the other way so that you can actually see where it says energy. But Okay, so this is the bull bearing. Um, okay. So I believe what's going on here is that it is like a coin flip. So you would roll it down and then oh, what white is heads and non white is tails, I assume. It's, I don't know why they didn't just give him a die or some coin or a coin. Trying a bit hard. Oh I see. So you, the poison and burn count is also they're like they have a place. Everything has a place. I see what they're going for here. It's like a it's like a all in in enclosed sort of thing. Everything's one piece. Interesting stuff. So that's is that that blog? That is the blog done. Going to move on and talk about this um, from Poke Beach as well. Premium set here. So they have the same sort of stuff. New, unique, colorful. And this was around the point where I got a little bit upset. Because except for basic energy cards, the cards in this deck are illegal for tournament play. So computer search. Rockets admin. Swaycoon. Can't name anything else. Oh, the tool cards. All not legal for tournament play. Uh, and holy moly, $275? What is that in real money? Let's see what I've got to do now is I've got to go. I'll get rid of that. I'll go Google USD to GBP. Was it 275 228. Now what you have to do is add on the fact that I live in the UK and not in, in America. 
So I'm probably just going to assume that this is going to cost at least £250, if not £275. So if you do that, yeah, it's going to cost for us more like $300 more or more by after conversion for us in the UK, assuming it gets here. It'll be available via lottery. No English pricing or release information has been... Oh, okay. Right, okay. So this is different than the Pokemon 151 set. If we can just refresh that. Oh yeah, so we did we did see that. I believe I believe we've talked about that. Um, if not, look it up for yourself. So looking at the cards once again. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing different here to look at. Um, so that is that. Oh, but there is a trailer. I thought we might watch the trailer here. I'm going to turn this down. I don't want it too. I don't want it too loud. A few people. Here we go. Turn it down a little bit. So we've got the couple of rich people this is how rich you have to be in order to buy this um in order to afford it you need to be able to live in a manner uh, such as this maybe a trust fund child choose your deck looks like we've got venusaur versus blastoise it's all very well but it seems like one person is always going to be weak it's kind of annoying chancy being promoted there there's the Dice, <laughs> the, the 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 ball bearing, Venusaur doing work. Saw a special condition come into play there. I wonder what the special condition was. I didn't see it. Living off the top deck, baby. And GG's. That's two hundred damage because you are weak. Go home. And there they are. Standing nice nice and proud there. So that's the trailer for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm trying to work out... So there is a, a website for this here, which is this one. Um, there's nothing, I don't think, here that we haven't already talked about or seen. Um, it doesn't really give you a release date, just late 2023. So we're going to be waiting quite a while for this. It is still kind of early 2023, although we are barreling through this year, I find. I can't believe it's the end of February already. Pretty bonkers. Um, moving through, moving through. Yeah, so it's not come up on the UK Pokemon Center website yet. Not that I was really expecting to, but I thought I'd look anyway. Um, we could probably just quickly look at this as the Pokemon Day article on nintendo.com so we've got something about pokemon unite pokemon cafe i don't really know what that is pokemon scarlet and violet never played it dlc for scarlet and violet not interested uh pokemon sleep and pokemon go i, I don't know how pokemon sleep I and mean, what, what do you do do you you literally just fall asleep We're sort of going off base now aren't we do you have to be strapped onto a device for that? You must do. Hmm. So it's Pokemon Sleep. I've been looking at potentially seeing if one of these apps that... No, straight into Google, Pokemon Go, so... Introductory video. Should we, should we just... Dear, oh dear. Sorry about that. <coughs> oh yeah. How? How does it do that? Surely you need to Does not reflect actual game game player experience. I don't 
Okay, well, I wouldn't really want to understand how it knows when I'm sleeping, but it obviously didn't tell me that. Anyway, um, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. I think we've covered everything that we need to cover. Yeah, I was kind of interested. Well, I say that. I, I'm trying to work out what the purpose is of this and what, what who, whom, for whom this would be good. Uh, potentially, I'm thinking people that are interested in Pokemon, who like Pokemon, but haven't played the card game. Um, this might be nice to have at home to learn to play them. Obviously, the problem you've got with that is that you've just forked out $250, and then you don't have any playable cards, other than energy, of course, but may as well not, right? Um, may as well keep this as a complete package. It would be a shame to to to, to dismantle this, I think. It's, it's very nice, isn't it, really? You see that all that there? Yeah, I see I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit of a hoarder for things, and this is something I would hoard quite happily. Um, it, it, it would be a nice way, like, th this would be a nice way to learn to play the Pokemon as well, because you've got a good mix. You've got evolution, you've got EXs, you've got understanding of damage counters, and uh, I'm assuming there's going to be special conditions incorporated into this, or else there wouldn't be the sleep, the poison and burn. Um, it might be nice to have at home if you're into Pokemon, and then, like, for me, like, I, I could probably potentially if people came over and wanted to do board games I could probably bang this out and someone might be interested but I think I'd probably end up slaughtering them to be honest I mean it's, obviously if it's if it's built anything like a starter deck then it's just kind of absolute luck all the way through not too much strategy um, but if it's built well it could be a good home home thing really or potentially you, you it could be a way for for you to play with someone who's very inexperienced and sort of level the playing field rather than just slapping with a Lugia deck against a binder drop. But overall, yeah, it seems like more of a just sort of a hoarding uh, item, really just sort of a collect, sorry, collectible, of course, collectible, but yeah. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Pokemon Day. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, see ya.